So they'll be calling you a radical. Heartbreaking day. I just got the news. My very close friend who was one of our locals here, that I, one of my lifelong friends who watched all these videos, commented on these videos. Last time I talked to him was right here to this square set piece of real estate not very long ago, the asphalt. His obituary is in the paper today. Younger than me, your younger Matt's died. I want to talk about how in embarrassing it is. I mean, it's beyond embarrassing to call yourself these scientists, this print media, this it's disgusting. I mean, to say that all these animals are dying, mystified, baffled, puzzled by hot water, it, it's, it's embarrassing. It, it's disgraceful. It makes you fucking want to cry. It's criminal. So, Stillhead, Stillhead, Idaho. This is NPR. The national NPR. As you know, I mean, so Tim and I, as you know, I work with a lot of salmon experts across, are doing a thing with these so-called salmon guides, which, you know, I fought with a lot of salmon guides. And before I go off on this, the young woman who fell and smashed her face and wrote fuck cancer on her face, which I love that, I'm going to post that as the tag, she died. I want to show you something. Let's see if I can do this. Look, Ma, no hands. I'm a big bleeder now because of the leukemia. So you see as she fell, you know, I fell quite a few times. I'd sleep, my doctors are like, you're out of your mind, because I have low platelets. Part, I'm a bleeder, and I'll be a bleeder the rest of my life. But when I, you have cancer, and I have scarring up and down my legs, burn marks all up and down through. I mean, when you got leukemia, it just annihilates the platelet count, and you're a big bleeder. And so, you bruise so easily. That picture's fantastic. She did that. The more open you are with cancer is the more chance of survival, but she was as open as you can get, and it still took her life. So back to the salmon nightmare. So this is... It's embarrassing. I mean, it's disgusting. So the numbers are right out there. I mean, just a little bit of work. You can go to ODFW site. You can go to the University of Washington site. The numbers are posted on this salmon collapse. So this guide is quoting, oh, we're down to 2 million salmon. Now, he said that. NPR regurgitates this. It's, just, it's fraud. It's fraud. Me and Tim were talking about, I said, it's not, it's fraud. The steelhead salmon, 72,000 in the entire freaking drainage. 72,000. That's the number. For, that's coming through the Columbia, which goes through all these tributaries. The Chinook salmon number was 380,000 this year without gill netting. And I'm the member I caught them at the end of your line and cheating on the number. They've already forecasted, their forecast is a clear down to less than 300,000. They're in the two, I mean, from 1.5 million. How are they quoting 2 million when the big return is of 20. 15, 14, and 13 on the Chinook salmon was 1.34 million is their maximum. Now, I understand with Gil Netty, you can double that. But how can they quote these kind of fucking numbers? Because they want to sell lies to the Chamber of Commerce and NPR is still going to panic pain. All these fucking, it's embarrassing, these scientists. It's beyond in fucking embarrassing. It's disgusting, you know? Matt was a big supporter of mine is when I was fighting cancer. I've been friends with him my whole life. You know, we grew up together. Fantastic person. Really a fantastic man. You know, and only if, that's what that's who it takes. You know, I'm gonna post her picture. Fuck cancer is right. But I take it further. Fuck the people that fucking give us cancer and one other thing. Fuck the people that cover for these fuckers. How can you come out and say, I do this work as it's happening. Everybody's laughing at me. Oh, there ain't no dead birds. <laughs> there ain't no dead typos. <laughs> I was doing the work as it happened. Hypothesize a real PhD. And then, <laughs> then they finally come out and use my work as I did it in real time. And then they quote it five years later. Oh, millions of birds died because of a warm blob. And you're going to go along with that. It's embarrassing. It, it's actually, it's, it's, well, it's criminal. It's disgusting. I mean, it makes you want to cry. It, I mean, 
How is this even possible in this fucking day and age? <laughs> so, all hands on deck, all hands on deck, you know. I'm getting all my stuff paid up and then whatever. I, you know, fuck. Anyway, I'll be back doing work on the Gray Wells soon when the timing's right. You know, Bear River Massacre is a week from today. Anybody that wants to go with me, let's ride on up there. It's not that far. It's a very special freaking gig. We need to go. And I don't think I can drive that vehicle. That's a vehicle scary. I drove it to Idaho. So, these Idaho guides, these liars, and these people that cover them, my personal belief is criminal. So, stand tuning. And uh, to the next place. Only the good die young, right? What's that? The whole freaking world should be sore at this point. Stand tuned.